fellow book questions. It is all Aaron the book question. Today I'm doing the version two of Wish Tray by Catherine Applegate herself. Well, let's get on to it. Well, if you want the story, as I said in the Unicorn Rescue Society version two review. I'm going to say for you to get out of this video and go to version 1. Because in this one, I'm just going to say the good parts and why you should read this book. Let's do it, people. Today, I'm not just going to say this is an awesome book. I'm just going to say why it's awesome. You see, Catherine Applegate has a wonderful way of realistically this somewhat describing realistically uh, trees' feelings. I mean, it might be possible, who knows, the world is full of wonders, but if it isn't, he or she did a pretty good job of imitating it and making it breathe life. She seems to, she is very good at pronouncing how a tree feels and and she is very, very, um, a very creative person. I mean, who would think how a tree thinks? I mean, come on, think about it. Who would? I mean, you look at a tree and you say, yeah, it's green, it's pretty, it's leafy. Ah, fresh oxygen. That's all, maybe. And at the fall, it's a pretty color. It flowers sometimes. That's all you think of. But no, Catherine Applegate probably looked at a tree and thought, hmm, I wonder what that tree thinks. And she made it a living, breathing story. That's pretty awesome in my opinion. And also, also the, also, and she did a wonderful creative job of naming all these creatures. Well, well, as for Red, Red, she is rather a very sarcastic kind of narcissistic optimist character and she she explains that all trees are named after their kind. She's a red oak, so she's called red. All most red oaks, by by that I mean like 99% are named red. The maple trees are called maple. Juniper trees are called juniper. That's I think a pretty creative name to I mean not creative but really it makes it kind of makes sense it make it uh it's a very make sense way of trees naming themselves I think that's a really interesting um part of this book and it's really funny because opossums she says name names themselves after things that they fear wow that I think that's Pretty interesting, in my opinion. I mean, who would think of how an animal names himself? I mean, they're like, ooh, cool, an animal. Not like, hmm, how would they name themselves if they have high intelligence? Well, the person is Catherine Applegate, who thought of all those things and even made it into a book. That's really interesting, in my opinion. And, oh, should I say, oh, the skunks. Skunks, act, she says, as she indicates, she says that skunks name them after, name themselves after um very pleasant scents, and she, and Red, the narrator, says that she she didn't figure out if they're just quite defensive of their reputation or they just have a slight sense of humor, 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 and I think that slight sense of humor is coming from Catherine Applegate herself, the author. And this sly sense of humor puts some life into the book. I mean, the, the characters aren't just characters. They aren't puppets. They're real. They're living. They're breathing. And the uh, particular traits of the animals is just really, really interesting, as I said multiple times. And you should read this book if you want to um, experience these wonders of the pages firsthand. Not from me. It's called secondhand, so if you read it, you'll feel the words of Catherine Applegate flooding you over, and you'll feel wonderful, sad, wonderlust, lost for words, and uh, thrilled, and scared, 
and joyful all at the same time. And you'll know that Catherine Applegate is a great author and another thing. This book, Wish Tree, is one of the most awesome books that has ever been written. And like always, your book quester and the book quester.